Hey, welcome, I'm back with Quantum Break and I'm starting Act 5 today. I think we are nearing the end of the game. We should be pretty close, so I'm expecting maybe one or two more parts of this. This might be the last one, honestly, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, very much happened the last time. Uh, a lot of people died, a lot of people seems to um, going to die soon, uh, like Paul and... I don't know, Martin died? That was so weird to me because I expected something much more from him. Like, I can even see him here on the on the screen. What is with that? He's dead. Supposedly. Because I had the most, like, theories about that guy. I, I'm feeling like... And and at the end, he, he said some weird sentence about if life in one world ends, that might mean start of, like... Uh, other worlds may continue to live or be even better off which makes me think of Alan Wake in control and all of that the dark presence and different entities from different dimensions trying to get there I don't know is Martin something like that possibly I have no idea all right but anyway uh, Jack's naive plan continues uh, the monarch has everything set up perfectly, they have the CFR in place, they can just live through the end of times and correct everything, possibly in time. But the Jack is coming there to destroy all of that and do a foolhardy plan of saving the world, even though he doesn't know how. So I don't know if I'm rooting for him. I kinda am, because he's a cool character and his brother died, Beth died, everybody's dead. Oh man, alright. So, uh, let's kill Burke too, and take take our stuff. <laughs> I really I really hope the end of, of this game won't be like, oh, we returned back to 2016 and everybody's alive, and that's that's the end of it. The entire town now seems to be a disaster area, and while authorities and relief workers from Monarch are redoubling their efforts, it seems everybody's working at capacity. And Time was broken, working out of sync. The city was in a state of chaos. What was that, a train? Where did that come from? Time was closing in. And you still believed you could fix it? The solution was inside Monarch Tower. A countermeasure. The CFR, as Monarch knew it. The key to the lifeboat protocol. Monarch's survival plan. Yeah. But that didn't seem to matter to you. I had a better plan. What? Tell me the plan, because what I know now, it's not a better okay. plan. It would be bad. You have no proof it would work. I'm kind of mad at that. Oh. <laughs> this is sick. Christ. Okay. Christ, yeah. And yeah, that won't help you today. Shit. Okay. Oh. Alright, it left. Oh, what? Where did you come from? Can I like destroy your thing? Let's take you down. What? What was that? It was like the weirdest thing I experienced here. No, of course not. It wasn't the weirdest, but like combat wise, it was just all over the place. Why, why am I taking them down so quickly now? Something's weird. It seems like there will be a lot of fighting here. Maybe it's weird because the time is out of sync and they are moving erratically too. Alright, he's right there. Come on, I'm missing everything. Shit. I won't let you get me. Go down. Alright, reload. Is that a big guy? Is that a tank guy? No, it's just a big guy. It's not necessarily a tank. Right, let's hide. That was stupid again. Did I miss? Yeah, I did. I'm dead. What am I doing? I was supposed to be hiding. Alright, well, uh, it was messy. It was The whole thing was out of order. Alright, let's do it again. Did I lose all my ammo there? What? Why? Let me check something though, before I fight.
Is there many things to collect here? Oh, there sure is. We'll be reading a lot. Okay. Oh, diaries. I've got something new here. Okay, let's listen. It's only a matter of time before the sickness takes over. I have delayed the inevitable, taken the final treatment to reach the clarity necessary for my final actions. All I've built, everything I've done here, it can't be for nothing. The lifeboat cannot function without the CFR, the countermeasure. I have had a vision. I've seen Jack at the swimming pool holding the device. That's where I meant to stop him. That's where I must go. Oh. That's where this ends. Uh, uh, I ordered Liam Burke to guard the CFR chamber. I know he won't succeed, but at the very least, he'll slow Jack down, make sure he comes out hurting. Now I have to finish the job. Know that everything I have done was necessary to sh assure our survival. Every life lost was in the service of our future. My fight ends today, but Monarchs has just begun. The end of time cannot be prevented, but it can be endured. We will survive. We will survive. I'm loving that this is the bad guy here. He's not bad at all, he's just... Weird. Alright, we already listened to this one. We have two more here. And one more here. But we already we already listened to this or seen it. But we don't know about these two, alright. On the best journey through time, first to the end of time and then to 99. And how that has affected her perspective. Well, I'm interested. February 28th, 1999. 2100 hours. He got away. Serene is gone. When Amaral sent me through the machine, I thought I'd come out on the other end with a solution in sight. I found the opposite. The end of time. I saw it. I... I don't know what that means. Ever since I was eight years old, I saw proof that things happen for a reason, that they can't be changed, that I had a purpose. I... I don't know what to believe now. If what I saw was real, then anything we do to stop it will fail. If that's true, then what is this all for? What does it mean? I can't give up. I'm going to complete the cycle. Find a solution. There's still hope. I have to believe that. Well, I'm pretty sure the last diary will be quite depressing. On bed starts before she goes to meet her destiny. July 4th, 2010. I've spent years in denial. About what I saw. About its inevitability. The end of time. I wanted to believe maybe Jack was right. Maybe all this could be undone. Erased. I looked for proof. A loophole. Something. Jack's parents died in a car crash. 1999. I thought... Maybe if I could stop it from ever happening... If that were possible, then... then I failed. What would that change? I failed every time. Every time I tried to make things right. This is our destiny. The good and the bad. Intrinsically tied to this path. It can't be bent. It can't be broken. No matter whether we succeed or fail, it still comes. That's so depressing, I then. I see it every night in my dreams, scraping away at my mind. The end of time is coming. 
And the only way I've been able to keep sane is by focusing on the present. What's here? Now, in front of me. But today, today is different. My whole life, I've had a mission. I'm gonna see it through. Even if there's no hope. Even if we fail. This is what I was meant to do. Hmm. And I know what happens next. This will be my final entry. All right. That's such a weird thing, though, because it, it it's basically she's saying she's given up. There's no hope. And she's given up on, on, on life by not giving up and going through with what she was doing her whole life. It's so weird. All right. I'm love, I am love Beth. It's a shame we lost her. All right. Collect all intel in Act 5 and we'll get these two things. So that's, that's definitely what I'm going to be doing. So where are you guys? There it is. Still alive, huh? What the? How am I always missing? How is there so many of them? I don't. I think there were less before, and they have so much health for some reason. I don't know why, but they do. Okay, I freezed you, didn't I? Come on, at least you could die, no? Shit. Where are you? Okay, is this the last one? Yeah. Damn. This was hard and I don't have any good weapons here anymore. Give me something. Burst pistol, no. Let's take this. Okay, is the big guy coming now, or who am I fighting? Oh, the small guy still. Okay, come on. How many bullets can you take? And I'm gonna save my blast. I missed again. Oh, there he is. Right, where are you guys? There's the big guy. They always screw up this attack. I mean, they try, but it never works. It's funny. Does that hurt you? Not really. Okay, well, let's just take it slow. If I just wait for him to reload and stuff, I should be able to take him down. Where did I throw that? See that? I really can't like aim the s the bubbles at slow time. That sucks. I can just shoot him forever and see how that works. Maybe just leave him be and move. It's a good thing he can like dash through time. I mean, I'm seeing a blood, so. Come on, stop. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's run. Okay. When will you finally die? I'm scared to go close to him. Finally. Damn. Turbine rifle. No, I want my rifle. It's good. Oh, look at this. The backpack. That's what we wanted. Okay, can I listen to this? I can. 
or not. believe she went to work. Yeah, leave. No, it makes no sense to go to work in this kind of... Oh, man. Alright, let's, let's just... Look around a bit more. I'm scared this this truck will hit me and maybe kill me. Well, let's explore anyway. All right, nothing here. Well, this looks so cool though. <laughs> uh, from the start of this game, everything looked like really nice, really nice. Let's see. I want to know what the what how how this all unfolds. What's this? Jack? I hope you can hear me. Yeah? Fiona? How? Yes. I wasn't sure if I could make this work. Listen, the CFR, it's not easy to reach, but you can access it from Serene's office. A friend of mine has unlocked the CFR chain, but the rest of the place is still in lockdown. I think I could help you with that. Like this. I guess you can. Okay, well, he probably went to the pool now. Can I talk to her more? Still not sure why you're doing this. I trusted Beth. I know she had her own agenda. I don't know half of what she did, but I trusted her, and she trusted you. And this is feeling like a real do or die situation, so I guess I'm doing. <laughs> okay, that's a good sentence. Do or die, so I guess I'm doing like that. Okay, let's look around a little bit more. What is that red string there with the. Is that like the choppers, the whirly things at the top? Brown source. Nice. Got it. What else do we have here? There is something. Wait a second. There was something. Like here, no? Maybe not. Oh, it's here. Welcome to the International Headquarters of Monarch Solutions. Thank you. This state-of-the-art building has become world famous for its unique architecture and its iconic presence in the Riverport skyline. Incorporating an unprecedented level of automation, designed with both comfort and security in mind, complete with a zero-carbon footprint, the building provides a safe and environmentally friendly workplace for thousands of Monarch employees. Monarch Solutions. All we, All think, we about think about is the future. future. Zero carbon footprint. Well, in that case, I'm sure you're all cool. <laughs> That's a lie. That must be a lie. Zero carbon footprint? No way. Uh, I thought you... They said you were dead. They are confused about a great many things. I have a whole job for you. But you're... you're I, mean, I mean, I'm not I'm sure, sure I should... should. You are still... Yes, yes, of course. Yes, of course. Whatever you say, Mr. Hatch. What? It was like a brainwash thing. Did he, like, hypnotize him? Alright. I'm convinced. Hatch. Hatch caused all of this. And when we defeat him, well, well, everything will be just fine. That's my plan here. Must be his work. No way. Is this Ahti? No, it's not. 
That's a janitor from Control. Okay, I don't know why the subtitles didn't were bust. Bastard doesn't know anything about the train crash. Hope he doesn't have a heart attack when time resumes. <laughs> That's the least of your worries, Jack. A heart attack of a janitor. Really doesn't matter much. Am I supposed to go up? I thought I'm supposed to go down. Yeah, well... Why is this shining again? What? Alright. Let's leave it be. Right, I can't sprint. I have the rifle. Nice. Nice. <laughs> two, two bullets, two kills. Right. That's what we like. Paul's office. Oh, look at them falling down. There's so many of them. What the fuck happened? Why are they falling down? What? Huh. I don't understand. Alright, let's read. Monarch radio node. Won't work in stutters. Radio waves get stuck same as everything else. Use stutter-proofed hardline terminals instead. Okay. Alright. How am I getting to Paul's office? I don't know. Probably elevator. I doubt that works though. No, it can't work. More reading. Alright, I don't I don't hear anything. Fine, Clary Sugawa, shifter alert. Attention, the lifeboat security protocols are. Yeah. I mean, they're frozen. Lifeboat security protocols are now in full effect. Our stutter proofing has failed, and we have reports of shifters in the building. You all know the drill, we have trained for this. Do not approach shifters alone. Remember that they are not restricted by the physical space in the same way we are. Deploy dampeners and watch your bags. Work in teams, remember your tactics, maintain your distance. Don't take any unnecessary chances. Comms are unreliable due to stutters, so pass the word to others and take advantage of stutter collapses to communicate as effectively as you can. We are attempting to repair the stutter proofing as quickly as possible, but be advised that contrary to our earlier timeline, which gave us years more to prepare, we believe we are now on the verge of the final zero state and every single stutter we encounter is more and more likely to be the one that never ends. That means our priorities have changed, the lifeboat protocol is in full effect and ensuring its success is our only objective, whether the position is shifters, Jack Joyce or anybody else. It's vital that we all remember our training, if we do things right we will make it out of this and we will make our way into the lifeboat. Good luck and make me proud. The will in caps lock almost <laughs> made me uh, think that she's trying to piss me off by mentioning will. Will died. But yeah, I'm, I'm sure that's not it. Let's read some more. Oh, by the way, uh, shifters. That reminds me of Martin talking to Dr. Kim and telling him when he destroyed the lab that it's time to make you free, my friend, or something like that. And I don't think they're friends. But if Martin has something to do with shifters, maybe if he's a shifter himself, somehow. Dead might explain that, because he was saying some weird stuff, and he's like weird in his own way. Like nobody ever heard anything about him from before 2001, what's with that? And Martin, Martin, there's more to him. Alright, uh, get in to be that time. Hey Pablo, I think it's getting close, you better get your ass to the stutter-proofed area. I still can't believe this is real, but you've seen what it's like out there. Half the world's gone to shit, just glad we're in here, I don't know. How it's all gonna play out, but at least this way we get a chance. Maybe we can fix things later. I bet those science guys can work it out, right? And hey, if you see that Jack Joyce asshole, just run, dude, okay? I was talking to Clarice and I didn't realize this before. I thought he was just sneaky or lucky or something, but I saw some battle reports from the field and he's just a machine. Fucker just shoots his way through everything we throw his way. I know this place is safe, but I figure he'll show up sooner or later. I heard he's got some personal beef with Serene, so when he comes, you better stay out of his way. Let the Jarheads handle that. If they can... If they can. <laughs> if Joyce is coming after Serene, he's gonna be pretty mad when he finds out the boss took a chopper out. 
You hear anything about that? What the fuck was that about? So it could get pretty ugly. See you when the dust clears, I guess. Stay safe, man. What? LT. What are these? Like, uh, BFF? BFFs from here? Monarchs, some random uh, best friends, guys. That's funny. Right, this seems like something I need to do. Maybe Fiona will um, let me access the elevator somehow. So, yeah, let's do that. What's going on here? Thought I'd run into organized resistance. Oh, they're falling from up there. Monarch shifted gears. There's this survival program. And you're either in it or you're irrelevant. So everybody's just scrambling and Serene's acting weird. Nobody knows what's going on. Everybody's just waiting for it all to end. But you're going to keep that from happening, right? Yeah, right. How am I supposed to use the elevator? Yeah, those red lines must be from the... I have no idea. Like, blades? Are they called blades? Those whirling things atop the helicopter? I guess. Some kind of blades. It kind of sounds good. It looks nice. getting closer to the countermeasure. Paul had the key to fixing the fracture all along. But he didn't see it. There was nothing to see. He believed the fracture couldn't be fixed. That's why he used the countermeasure, the CFR, to create the lifeboat. Well, that makes it almost sound like it could be fixed, and we did fix it since the interview. Are those shifters? Am I going to find a shifter? I hope so. Oh, I can see the guys there. Oh... Oh man, I don't want to fight that. Damn. Okay, well, I guess that's why they're falling down from here. Ah oh, shit! Look at that. I think I'm gonna fight one of those. Is that Hatch again? But Mr. Hatch, Mr. Sir, sir. I mean, I mean, if I deactivate the stuttered sniffing system, won't that um? um if time, time stops, stops again, again then, then the building, building will be... Let me worry about that. It's just that I'm really, I'm really not, not sure this is, this is okay. okay. Couldn't we just check with somebody? Do I have to look up your home address? <laughs> no, no. No, sir. No, sir. Monarch flunky. <laughs> See that you do. Alright, so are these things happening after Burke killed him? I... I don't know. It might not be. He might be on his way to Burke right now. Then he gets a knife through his eye. I really don't know. Because they said that he was supposed to be dead. But... I don't know why would he. Right? Serene just... Apprehended him. Didn't kill him. Didn't say that they should kill him. I, I guess. Martin Hatch has been detained and his authority over Monarch Solutions and its employees along with his security clearance has been rescinded. I want the full security team watching him at all times. He is not to be given access to any computer systems or communications. Don't talk to him and don't allow him to talk to anybody. Lock him down and keep him locked down. If he attempts to escape, shoot to kill. I'll deal with him when I'm done with the present crisis. When was this? Alright, 3 a.m. I don't know what time it is right now. I doubt I can check that. Alright, well, let's move. Fiona, can you get this door open for me? I think so. Sorry, this isn't quite my forte. I know a guy who would do this in his sleep, but he's about as dependable as. Oh, he's dead. Never mind, that's it. Be careful. Hello, company in there. <laughs> She's realizing that what Charlie did was so fucking easy. <laughs> She's like, I, I don't know how to do this. Oh, I did it. It's fine. It's easy. I'm still not sure what your role in this whole thing is. Neither am I anymore. I thought I was looking into the death of somebody I used to know. Somebody so I, know I used to know. They aren't human, but they used to be. Stay away from them, Jack. They're bad news. All right. So are we going to do like a roguelike? I'm just excited watching them, excited to get to see them get killed by the shifter.
Should I read stuff here or just move? Am I supposed to kill them or am I supposed to just leave them be and die to the shifter? Because they're not watching me at all. I can just move around and do my own stuff. I don't really care what they're saying. I mean, I do care kind of what they're saying, but it's so quiet. I don't feel like reading it. It's probably nothing important. Not cool. Looking around if there's anything at all to read. I guess there's not. So I actually have to kill these guys. How did I miss that guy, though? I don't understand how did I miss the first guy. Alright, who's shooting me? There you are. <laughs> Yelled him in middle jump. There you go. I wanted to use my ammo so I can fill it up over here. What's that? Oh, more people. Oh, and it's the big guys. Two of them? Oh, it's two of the tank guys? Shit! That's gonna suck to deal with. Come on, let's hide. They can probably destroy these things if they want. Can I hit it? No, I couldn't. I'm probably dead here. Let's hide behind this. I mean, they can probably just, just blow it up if they want. Let's do maybe that. Okay, yeah, this seems like the best way to approach it. To maybe just run. Oh, I can't run. Good. Used up my stuff. Alright, well, I don't know how to get behind him. I certainly need to take care of this guy first. And then even start thinking about the other guy. Come on, please. Let him just die. Okay. Doesn't seem to work. Where's the other guy? Oh, they're still standing on their, on their own spaces. Alright. I think I hit it. I didn't. I can't hit it. Shit. How am I supposed to get around them? I mean, I can stop time. But it doesn't really help too much. It's for such a long, short time. It doesn't really do anything. Alright, I need to run. Again. Okay. Maybe do a time blast again. They almost destroyed this whole thing. I can't get behind them. Alright. Let me wait, and... These things just keep repairing themselves, that's awesome. I'm just waiting for my, uh, like, the run, the shift running charges up, so I can use all of it. And maybe get behind them like this, and shoot them. Didn't work. Shit, didn't work. Can I, like, take this forever? Oh, it's endless. What a backpack. So I can just try shooting them forever and hope that I'll hit something. It seems like I can hit them from front, like it shines red. A little bit. I don't see it. Can I hit it? Not really. Alright, well, let's try it again. Okay, he's down. One down. It's hard to hit it. It's really, it's really hard. Okay. So now for the other guy. Okay. Okay, that didn't help at all. Maybe I, maybe I should just, like, hide. Okay. 
Maybe I should just like sneakily go through so he doesn't know where I actually am. Are you done? Alright, cool. Well, that went faster. Man, that sucked. Does this actually show me everything I can read and stuff? Oh, why am I realizing that here at the end? The machine was going strong. The public believed that they were doing what the police force couldn't. Protecting them from a terrorist threat. From me? You. Yeah, you. Well, <laughs> she, she screwed up my prediction. VR protocol. Uh, I don't really care, I guess. All right, let's read. Monarch Solutions response to tragedy. No public aggression, coercion, manipulation, or violence. Contain, bury, spin, everything. Friendly, safe, authority. Control Mayor Riverport PD. Monarch assisting the authorities. Deploy SEDMAC for media control. Remove Red Ford. What? Those are people, I guess. Manufacture terrorist threat Jack Joyce. Note Jack Joyce should be a clear a later addition on the board. See Charlie Wincott for details. Flood social networks, media sites with new narrative. Drown our legitimate reports with flood of conflict in account. Paint troublemakers as bleeding heart extreme extremists attain critical mass. Useful idiots will take over trolling. Hmm, fine. That sucks. I mean, it's basically... If everybody in Monarch knew about what their main goal is, like survive the apocalypse, then everybody knew that uh, we are, they are framing Jack. And if everybody knew they are framing Jack, then it seems kind of sad. The hatch had Paul's full support. I saw otherwise. There was a temporary misunderstanding. Yeah, so it seems weird that nobody spoke up. I guess they all so firmly believed in the mission that Monarch represents that they kind of didn't really think of those things. It's like a cult, really. That creepy asshole's gone. Alim, did you hear that Hatch is out? I don't know exactly what went down, but Holden from Acquisition says Hatch did something to really piece up Serene. Maybe something that involves blowing something up on the island? I don't know, and frankly, I don't know if Holden did either. It all sounds pretty crazy even by Monarch standards. Anyway, Holden says Hedge got escorted out of his office by a whole bunch of armed security guys. I mean, that wasn't the security will escort you out of the building situation. Holden says it was for real, so I guess that guy's done. Good riddance, maybe now we can get some work done without him Darth Vadering the crap out of us. That guy's always creeping, creeped me out. Oh, I had another thing too. You were right. Dr. Amaral came back. I was sure Joyce would just kill her, but nope. She made it back alive. Anyway, glad I was wrong about that one. She's cool people. She picked a good time to come back too. Things are getting really bad outside. It's really starting to dawn on me. We're really lucky to be in here instead of stuck out there in the, all the craziness. They said there's planes coming down from the sky now. Crazy. Let me know you're okay, Alim. V. Interesting. Okay, let's move on. There was a shifter on this bridge, so I'm kind of... Eh, I don't really want to go there. Fiona, I'm trying to get to the sky bridge. Sky bridge, sky bridge. There's marketing right now. Okay, yeah, yeah, I think I got it. <laughs> hey, Jack, be careful. There's something really weird going on in this building. You don't say. Yeah, I didn't scrambling. notice. Paul's empire was falling apart all around me. Can I throw you down? I've never seen anything like it. I can't. But Paul had. That's what he was preparing for all those years. Yeah, poor guy. He didn't do a very good job. Right. What's this? Pretty sure they didn't even scratch that thing. Yeah. I don't think it's possible to scratch it. Hmm. Alright, nothing. Don't see anything. I'm just checking for some uh, readables here with this, now that I know that it can be used like that. Yeah, this is bad, isn't it? I shouldn't be just walking through here. Holy shit. Yeah, it ripped through them. Damn. Alright. Oh, Chronon Source. 
How many do I have? Um, upgrades. Upgrades. I got seven. Cool. Enemies remain revealed for longer. Let's go for it. Go for it. Oh, no, no, no. Escape. All right. What is that? Oh, it's you. Okay. Is this the way to go, actually? Couldn't I go through here? Oh, no, I can't go through here. All right. All right, all right. So this is the way. But let's read first, as always. This will be just some, some fun, stupid thing again, won't it? What are they saying there? Was that it? Oh, it was. What the fuck? <laughs> Alright. About my screenplay and new video. Hey, Sophia, I still haven't heard from you about my screenplay. I know you're busy with all your work, but this is really taking off in a big way, so let's try to get going on this, okay? I know this thing is gonna be huge, so I just went ahead and mortgaged my house to make this thing a reality. It's my dream, and I'm gonna follow my dream. And once I get the Kickstarter going, this thing's gonna pay me back for the mortgage, so no problem. I already shot a short promo thing for the KS campaign. Let me know what you think. I'm gonna star in it, but I've got a really cool part for you too if you want it. You'd be perfect for it. Also, like I said, I'm gonna need that science feedback stuff soon. Let me know ASAP. With a smiley face there. So this is it, right? This is the promo. Dead Bruce. Yeah, time something. The name of it. Alright, cool. Well, good for you, Bruce. Is this you? It might be you. Well, rip. Hmm... They have a time machine here? Yeah. Shit. This is where they brought the university core. This is Paul's machine. The wrong one. Looks like they have it on the top floor. Hmm. Ensure personally that CFR chamber is secure. Okay. What else can we read? There is one thing here. Hmm, all right. A confession, sir. I know you won't have a chance to read this email until you return to the HQ, but I have turned this over in my head repeatedly and I see no other option that, than to let you know what I have done. I have deactivated the stutter proofing at the building. I had maintenance access and I used it. But I want you to know I did it under tremendous duress. Martin Hatch left me no choice. He threatened my family and I didn't know what else to do. I still don't. I know there are shifters out there, the stutter proofing is gone, and I don't have a crown on harness, so technically I'm safe. The shifters only exist in stutters, and when one of those hits, I freeze, just like the rest of the world, so whatever happens during the stutter, I'm safe, barring some kind of a de desynchronization related accident. What that means though is that one eye blink I'm here, and the next one, there's two dead strikers on the floor. Dead, because of me. They're blood all over me from nowhere. I'm looking at them right now, typing this on my phone. I can smell the blood and, I don't know, ozone, I guess, and smoke. Their gears sparking. They'd be alive if I hadn't. I'm sorry. I think I'm hyperventilating. I don't know if I can hold it together much longer. I don't know why Hatch wanted this to happen, but he did. I think he wants the CFR for some reason. You can't trust that fucker, sir. I know you're close, but I think he's as evil as they come. I'm so sorry, sir. I'm not making excuses. I know I fucked up. I don't know how to deal with this. I have always respected your drive and dedication. You have no idea. But I don't have these those things. I'm just an engineer. This is just too much for me. If you come back and fix things, please look after my family. They didn't have anything to do with this. Bernard Riker, Senior Crown on Tech. Very cool. This is one of those that I'm really glad I read. Awesome. I still don't know if Martin actually died at Burke's hands and this is happening after that, like he kinda travels through time, or I don't know if he's uh, not human and can't die. Maybe. It's possible, I guess. I guess if he's a shifter somehow, him 
him dropping the eye drops in his eyes with the chronon particles might be just for him to kinda survive without the stutters. Not for him to actually gain abilities, but kind of for him to reduce them, keep them in check. It seems like a crazy, crazy theory, but I'm not so sure it's it's completely implausible, you know? Oh, there it is. I see it. Eyes up, Jack. Ah, <sighs> oh, damn. <Whoa. laughs> Alright. It disappeared? Oh, the stutter's gone. There was subtitle. What the fuck was that? But he didn't say anything, I don't think. So the stutter went away just... What the fuck was that thing? The train. Oh, yeah. All personnel, stay clear of the lower levels. There's a possible hazard. We don't Repeat, say. Stay clear of the lower levels. There appears to be a train crashed into the building. The situation is under control. Oh, don't you lie. All personnel should remain in secure areas. There are intruders in the building. Repeat. Remain in secured areas. Uh, very interesting. Um, it makes me think that this was just kind of very lucky that the shifter attacked Jack and he kind of fall, fell on his ass. And then the stutter got removed. Can Jack control the stutters? Maybe he did it subconsciously when he got stressed and attacked. Could that be possible? Might that be how he traveled through time? Might that be how he's... How he's going to stop all of this from happening? That he can just kind of end the end of times, possibly. Another I don't know. Help with Fiona. You're at Serene's office. Good. Just kick it down. It's glass. A this one's a little tricky. Serene's got access to the CFR chamber, and there's going to be a pretty dangerous guy there guarding. <laughs> got it. Just be careful, okay? Sure. Paul was already gone, but he left behind the one thing I needed. What? We have a CFR. Prep the, Prep the chopper. Ready to lift off in 15, sir. What's the, What's the profile? profile? Full tactical complement. And we're going to need a tech squad for assembly. I'll brief, I'll brief them on the way. way. Copy, that. Copy that. Good hunting, Good hunting sir. sir. All right. What's this? Oh, this longer one. Untitled note. I have left this message here for you to find so that soon when the time comes and I ask you to choose, you can do so with your eyes open and with some hint of understanding. I have no secrets and the only things I choose to omit are the ones that you, in your current limited state, would not be able to grasp no matter how hard I try to make you understand. I have walked down the same path you are on, now on. Once, from your perspective a long time ago, although time no longer has such meaning to me. I I too came in contact with the time machine. In my case, it was not a man-made device, but a natural one, in a cave. It should come as no surprise, really, that such things exist, much like natural nu nuclear reactors do exist. Such as the new defunct ones at Oklo, Africa. After all, the Mayor Joyce Field has its irregularities. I too became Cronon active, I too developed Cronon syndrome. And in time, I too lost control and became a shifter. Is this Martin? This is probably Martin, no? Because I thought at first this is uh, Ball Saint, but the thing with the cave makes no sense. Okay, okay. All right, let's let's read this. Uh, thinking of this as Martin speaking. Yeah, so we found the time machine in a cave, natural time machine, maybe some kind of a rift or something like that. Alright, where did I end? I too became Cronon active, I too developed Cronon syndrome. And in time, I too lost control and became a shifter, became at once everything and nothing. Was everywhere and nowhere, died countless deaths and was still alive. My every probability, every possibility happening at once. 
So Martin is a shifter. I promised I would not lie and thus I tell you the noise and the pain and the rage were more than anyone could suffer and not go insane. I burned in this fire for a long time, there were brief moments of awareness in this endless nightmare, different versions of certain key moments in my life that I found myself reliving again and again, trying to make things right, like a puzzle on and on and on. I am convinced that the stutters and the end of time saved me. For those were the only places, the only times where I could even briefly stop and rest and slowly find focus and control again. And ultimately master this state. Not emerge from it, not be cured, not go back to what I was before, for there is no such thing. But to learn to be in one place and everywhere at once, my perception is altered like that of someone who has seen a perceptual illusion and discovered that the picture is both a young girl and an old woman at the same time. Once you see them both, you can never not see them. We are such limited beings, we play with just one piece. On just one square, on an endless chessboard, just one life, one timeline in an infinite multiverse of possibilities. Am I an exception, the only one who has found his way to the other side, or is this just a shifter's brief dream before a stutter collapses? There are other shifters. You, your best friend who is now your mortal enemy, Dr. Kim, others, some of whom you know. It doesn't matter who, because they are gone, and when they emerge, if they ever emerge, they will not be who they were. Just as I am not who I was before, I have done my part in helping you all achieve this state. If time is an ocean with a frozen surface, then the stutters and the end of time are holes in that ice. Opportunities to come up for air. I have a plan, it's already in motion, but it would be futile to try to exp futile to try to explain it to you. Like trying to explain three dimensions to someone who can only see one. But make no mistake, I, I do not look down on you. I strive for humility even as I shift this world from one state to another. I will make this possible. I stand in between, I don't see myself as a gate. I remain humble. I'm something smaller. A hatch. Martin Hatch. <laughs> That's cool. Hmm. Alright, it doesn't make, like, complete sense. There are some things I'm not clear on. Like, where did he come from? Who is he? Long time ago. When did he actually come in contact with the cave? Hmm, I don't know. Alright, so all he wants to do, if time is an ocean with a frozen surface, then the stutters and the end of time are holes in that ice. Opportunities to come up for air. Alright, so he's a shifter. Weirdly. And he wants end of time to come, right? And he sees that as another beginning, not really the end. For shifters, I guess. That is just stupid I think I mean oh what happened I just pressed it at the same time that the cutscene started is Jack a hacker as well <laughs> he's so annoyed well, this alarm went off. Is that you skulking around, Jack? fuck you we're <laughs> done playing games I'm here for what you stole Yes, of course. The CFR. If you understood just how much depended on that, you'd leave it alone. But I know you don't care. You're right. I don't. And it looks like you're not here to stop me. Yes. Yes, everything will play out as it has to play out. I'll see you very soon, Jack. He's gonna become a shifter. Well, Hatch says we are already shifters. Am I playing as him? Oh, no, 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 I'm not. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, since he saw that Jack will have the CFR at the pool, then he... Don't dance your tune, you crazy bastard. What do you mean? Then, of course, there, there is no... There is no, no sense in waiting for him and try to beat Jack here because he knows that won't happen. Cool. Alright. Final instructions. Clarice, as you know I have a mission to embark, embark on so I'll try to be brief. 
I have initiated the lifeboat protocol over Martin's objections. Given how things have developed since then, I'm glad I did. I don't fully understand Martin's motives, but it's obvious he's moving against me and against the entire survival plan itself. I know you have worked closely with him and I know that this must come as a shock. It's also alarming that in evading capture, Martin took out an entire sec security team. For an unarmed man who's ostensibly not combat trained, that should be impossible. Obviously, this is highly alarming news. I don't know if he had help or if there is even more to Martin that we have come to suspect, but he's had free reign over this company for a long time and he's extremely resourceful and persuasive. It's not clear to me who I can trust at this point, but I know I can depend on you. I trust that you will see things through in my absence and ensure the stutter proofing stays up. In particular, I would appreciate if you would ensure that Dr. Emerald stays safe in the lifeboat. She has been through a lot during the past 24 hours and she still managed to make her way back to us and bring vital intel. Thank you for your loyal service, Clarice. It has always been appreciated. Paul. Well, Paul obviously likes... Oh. Different button. Obviously likes her. The countermeasure was Paul's prize. Everything he built was based on Will's device. His plan depended on it. You better believe I look forward to taking it from him. <laughs> Only one of Serene's treatments survived the explosion. His time was running out. So was everybody else's. True. Alright, so I'm supposed to go down, so let's explore the upper floor first. Ah, this is this is long, damn. October 7th. Mm. Alright, let's listen. So, uh, read. Paul, we now have finalized the plans for acquiring and transporting the Time Machine Core from the University Lab. Your instructions are quite clear. We won't actually move in until your younger self has entered the machine, and the men will try to take the Joyce's alive. With the understanding that Jack Joyce in particular could be a threat and neither can be allowed to escape under any circumstances. I'm still quite uncomfortable with all this, Paul. I understand your reasoning and I know the stakes are high, but I don't want to see anybody hurt. It's antithetical to my role as a scientist and I wish to reconsider. Surely there's a better way to resolve this. Moral implications aside, the loss of Dr. Joyce's expertise alone would be a great blow. If everything goes smoothly and quietly, we will transport the Cordyra directly to the Monarch Tower via ground route. If there's commotion and it seems there's any risk of detection, we will instead airlift the core to our dry dog's operation and then move it disc discreetly from there to the HQ. The construction of the new time machine frame at the top of the Monarch Tower has been finished since last year. Once we have received the core, it will be installed into the time machine per your orders. I know you don't intend to use it, but even with the limitations the nature of time travel imposes on us, I have to say, it seems like a great waste to not take advantage of such a resource. Both from strategic and a scientific point of view. Did somebody use it? I mean, we're talking about it second time in this chapter, so I guess somebody must have. Or will. Sophia, I understand why you would feel that way, but this isn't something I take lightly. It's my experience that time travel only complicates things. And while my own trip through time has given us great opportunities, it's also set me on this path. I want to control it, not use it. That said, I want to have the, the machine ready to use for emergencies. My foreknowledge of future events will end very soon and it might prove to be useful to have the option of the obtaining more detailed information from the future. Obviously, given that the furthest you could go back is the machine's activation at the university, visiting the past seems fairly useless. Also ensure that the machine is heavily guarded at all times. Nobody is allowed to operate the machine besides, besides myself and I want the corridor to remain undeployed unless I give specific orders to the contrary. As for the Joyce brothers, I intend to give William the option of joining us, if possible, but I know him. He's a very stubborn and unstable man and I don't know if we could ever trust him. I don't need to remind you that he built in that, that ridiculous little workshop with very limited resources a device that broke the local physics at ground zero and caused my chronome syndrome. 
I don't intend to give him a chance to show us what else he could do if he decides that we are a target, that along with the visions I have seen, there are certain sentimental reasons that make me wish I could let William live, but I doubt that he makes it possible for us. As for Jack, I'm not too worried about him. It took me a long time to master my abilities, so Jack shouldn't be a major problem unless he manages to use stutters to escape the area. Luckily, stutters should be very rare in these early, early stages of the fracture. Still, I've come too far to take any chances. I'd prefer to take him alive, but nothing can be allowed to put our plan at risk. I'm sorry to have involved you in something like this. I know it's not what you sign up for, and as I said, I don't expect you to be personally involved with what that part of the operation in any way. I'm not particularly happy about this part myself and I wish I had better options, but our circumstances are as they are and I have come too far to falter now. I hope you understand. Well, I do. Okay... Paul, yes of course, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to add to your burden and I know that these are hard decisions. You can count on us to proceed as planned. I know you're exceptionally busy now that the time is almost upon us, but I was hoping you'd have time for dinner date? Sophia, please update me on our progress with the time machine correlation. Where are we with this? Thank you. 2 p.m. October 8, 3 p.m. 2 p.m. Hmm, Alright. But that was 9 p.m. 9, uh, October 9th. Paul, don't worry about it. We're on schedule. Your time machine core from the university has been transported to the HQ and it's currently being installed into the new time machine frame we've built for it. You'll have direct access to it from the CFR chamber as requested. And no, before you ask, you can't actually access the CFR chamber from the time machine. That elevator can only be activated from within the chamber, so no one working on the machine can get to the CFR. I thought you'd appreciate the layer of added security. I know how important it is to keep the CFR safe. Anyway, I know you don't actually intend to use the time machine, but should you ever need it, all we need to do is deploy the corridor. It's actually all hooked up now, but we're still running some final diagnostics. The text should be ready with, the, with it before the gal is over. I'm pretty sure that Jack's gonna use the time machine. It all makes it sound like that. Maybe. Okay, there, there, is there a chronon source here? Is there? Well, there's something here. Oh yeah, it was it. Right? Paul spent a long time running Monarch in secret. It probably didn't help with that whole disconnected from reality thing. Reflections on the end. I wish my memories about the end of time were clearer, but it was anything but a clear time in my life and the world was such a jumble, a frozen mess of different timelines crashing together. I was running my l for my life the whole time, trying to avoid the shifters. Not an ideal state of mind for gathering intel. And it didn't help me that she kept chasing me, trying to kill me. Beth Wilder. One of my own people. It was her all along. Even then, trapped in the end of time. As little as I understood about what was going on, I could tell she wasn't like me. That she didn't have the powers I did. I knew she had some kind of technology that kept her going in that suspended hell. Of course, I had no idea it was a device I would eventually have my people develop. I suppose I should appreciate the irony that it was her Cronon Harness, my own Cronon Harness, that it gave me the idea for the lifeboat protocol. The idea that our technology could let humanity survive the end of time. I suppose I have to thank her for that, and she paid for her sins in the end, but she left her mark on me. I know the time to pay for mine is approaching quickly, but not just yet. Back then when Wilder and I played our game of cat and mouse at the end of time, if I'd had an ounce of the control over my powers that I do now, things would have turned out very differently between the two of us. She was strong and had the training and I was young and weak and scared. Even so, my abilities gave me an edge. I was lucky she didn't have the full striker gear. She was the one with the upper hand. I didn't learn to, didn't learn to learn to properly control my abilities until much later. In those days, they were unpredictable and operated on instinct. Control didn't come easy. I can't help but be aware that this doesn't seem to be the case for Jack. His mastery is growing by leaps and bounds. Is it just because that's the way he's always been? Fast on his feet? Bold and adaptive? Or is the fracture affecting him too? I thought we could contain him. It's cost us there dearly. It's not a mistake I will make again. Alrighty then. Let's go down. Oh man, 
What, what, what's all this? <laughs> Why is it highlighted? Should I read all of that? Right, let's see. Paul told me that he tried to change things. It failed. What he'd seen, it broke him. And I'd seen Beth go down the same path, but Paul... It consumed him. Yeah, well. I mean, no wonder. I I'm not surprised, though. What do we have here? From Sophia. Is this like an email conversation or just one message? It's one message. Quantum Ripple Research Unit. Paul Martin, I know you've been you've both been arguing that the Quantum Ripple Casualty Research Subdivision has great potential and we should keep it funded. I must once again implore you to reconsider. I'll be the first one to admit that the technology is impressive. The fact that doctors, morphine and rangers can actually track the consequences rippling out from minor shifts within the Meyer Joyce field is incredible, and the level of informational detail they manage to obtain is amazing. But here's the thing. They've been at this for two years now and they have not produced a single useful result. Yes, we can trace the actual events from their small inception point to the actual consequences. Very much in keeping with the basic chaos theory concept of the butterfly flapping its wings, but well, so what? Every single thing that happens in this universe is the result of such a chain of events. Being able to see the chain offers no real insight to anything due to the very randomness of the process. Furthermore, it's utterly misleading. You could say that some tiny event or tiny decision in my life yesterday led me to write in this email. And that's technically true, but so did some tiny event or tiny decision in my life 15 years ago. It's all a chain. The event yesterday didn't take place in a vac vacuum. It didn't come out of nowhere, so what's the point? We have no control over it. We don't get to direct it, and we get no useful information out of it. Also, have you actually seen the reports they generate? From a technological point of view, the way they manage to automate their analysis of the fluctuation sig signatures within the mayor Joyce field is impressive, but again, it's all meaningless babble with no practical applications. Their personal remarks on the reports are even worse, with all due respect to Ron and Terry and their indisputable technical expertise, I don't know what they're doing and I'm not sure they do either. It's like they're coming up with stuff at random. The above outlines my concerns as to the futility of the entire process, and I suspect that may not be enough to sway you, but I have one final point which I think you should consider very, very carefully. The entire program is an unforgivable waste of Monarch resources. I don't mean money, although the entire Quantum Ripple Casualty Research Subdivision is costing us millions and millions of dollars, but that doesn't really matter, because I know we can afford that. However, there is a more vital resource they're consuming. Each time they fire up their rig and delve into the Mayor Joyce field, they eat up a huge amount of chronon particles. Those are a finite resource, and as you know, we are projecting that the ground zero's yield will rapidly diminish as the fracture takes hold, which will happen very soon. You may not understand what the real impact of this is, so let me put it in to you in practical terms. Every single time they detect and analyze a quantum ripple, it costs us a week of potential lifeboat runtime minimum. Given Monarch's primary purpose and total lack of useful res results, I believe that's a luxury we cannot afford. I recommend shutting them down immediately or at the latest during our next reorganiz reorganization. We can reallocate their resources to something useful and put Ron and Terry's expertise into great use designing the lifeboat. I'm sure we wouldn't regret putting them to work on that, given their track record of working with Cron on tech. It was a quick one, interesting one, and I don't know what it actually helps us with, but it's cool. Okay, let's see. 17 years, he lived through twice. All of it mapped out, from memory. He knew the market trends before they occurred. He had the tools to make a fortune, and he did. Yeah. Very cool, very, very cool. I'm not gonna read all of this, because we know about that, don't we? Okay, yeah, no need to do that. Wait a second. If I do it again, will, will, will it talk again? Oh, he won't. Alright, so that seems like everything that could be gathered here, so let's move on already. Okay... Do I know this place? Oh yeah, I do, this is where we played as Serene, isn't it? Okay, well, let's read. Dr. Amaral was the one thing keeping Paul alive, but... 
Reading through their exchanges, there was something more than professional going on. Of course. That's not my place to comment on. Mm -hmm. I find myself at a loss. We knew that the fracture would arrive. It was clear very quickly that the process was occurring much faster than Paul's projection. Projections? His experiences had led us to believe. That was alarming in itself, but there is another concern. With the fracture, Paul's condition seems to be accelerating rapidly. I don't know what to do about either one of these issues. I haven't had the chance to examine Paul properly, and of course he won't consent to any real tests at this point. He won't take the time, not with the situation being as critical as it is. He has to prepare for the gala. To take care of every little stupid thing Martin trots out from him, for him. He won't think of himself at all, and I'm afraid that'll cost us dearly. So I don't know, I'm just speculating, but I believe this acceleration is a reaction to the stutters in time, in zero state. His wave function is further disrupted by the excessive chronon energies within his body. Before the university incident, before the fracture, the condition was progressive but controllable. The lack of stutters helped keep it in check. Now its progress is rampant, and I worry that it may reach a critical point soon. We always knew that was a possibility, but all of our projections assumed we would have years. Time enough to come up with a cure or a way to stop its progress. Which means there's a very real chance that in the near future, Paul's condition overtakes him. And if he does become a shifter, I don't know what to do about it. We haven't been able to help Dr. Kim. I don't know what we could do for Paul. I don't know what to do. The treatments are still working, but they take a toll on him and their effect is greatly diminished. I'm concerned we may hit a point where he's forced to use them so often that the treatment becomes worse and the condi than the condition itself, and yet I don't see any other options. He will not rest, he insists on doing so much. I know he chafes under his dependence on the treatments, he ceases, sees it as a weakness. I'm afraid I may lose him. Because you love him. Alright, that's fine. That might have been the case for Beth and Jack too, if they didn't... Did Paul was a powerful man. The leader of an empire. But behind the veil, he was a dying man. The signs were clear. Yeah. Yeah, Beth and Jack might have ended up the same way. Come on, Burke. Oh, you wanted to say something, I didn't catch it. Because I moved forward. But isn't he dying? Just one of you. Rip. Look, you have to realize you're not gonna keep him from the CFR. Well, let's see. Alright, well, let's do this. Oh, I can't. Oh shit, there's a disruptor here. Can I d disable this? I can't? Damn, I have to actually kill him. Like, beat him with only guns. Oh. Okay, if I just shoot him, he can't shoot me. How much health do you have, you mother... Alright. Almost cursed. <laughs> that was quite easy. Don't do it, man. Just stay down. Fuck you. I've got too much riding on this. You're not going anywhere. Is that the end of times? Come on, move out of the way. What if what if the time unfreezes right away? You're dead. You don't just stand there. Seeing that face put it into perspective. They were all misled, manipulated to believing they were doing what was right, what was necessary. Liam Burke made his choice. Liam Burke was an unnecessary casualty, one of way too many. 
I, I still don't understand how can Jack be so freaking adamant in believing his, his truth. Because he has no proof to... I don't think he has any proof to believe that he can undo all of this. The lifeboat revolved around the countermeasure. He knew Will would try to take it back. That's why he was killed. He knew I'd try to do the same eventually. Clearly, he was right. Yeah. Read me right now, CFR procedures. People, because there seems to be a certain lack of clarity about when it's appropriate for someone to enter the CFR chamber and mess with the chronon field regulator and because I just had to fire Kevin Janeway because he did that exact, exact thing, let me remind you of the approved CFR procedure. You do not do not touch the CFR, period. I may touch the CFR because I'm the lead technician in charge of it. Dr. Sophia Emerald may touch the CFR because she's our head of research and she knows what she's doing. Mr. Paul Serene may touch the CFR because he's Paul fucking Serene and it's his CFR. <laughs> Nobody else touches the CFR. On occasion, some enormously lucky individuals who may who have been personally trained by me and are proven to be very dependable and incredibly good at their jobs who don't have a track record of trying to enter the cfr chamber like paint huffing in basils because they just wanted to take a closer look at it and who have remembered to bribe the lead technician in charge of the cfr with tom waits tickets may be given written instructions to perform specific procedures on the cfr that will be a great honor and a sign of a significant degree of trust and those people should be accorded all professional respect. And an appropriate degree of brown nosing and or passive aggressive displays of envy by their peers. Or to put it another way, you do not touch the CFR unless you want to join Kevin in the how to stop being an arrogant dumb shit who jeopardized the only hope of a future for the entire human race because his mansplaining ass thought what the CFR really needed was a random dude who knew better. Man, I tried to do that on one br breath. <laughs> Self-improvement course down at the employment unemployment office, which I'm sure is where we all believe he was escorted to by those armed men. There are no exp exceptions to this. Is that implying that he's dead, that they killed him because he knows too much and he's fired? Probably, no. There are no exceptions to this. The entire lifeboat protocol depends on the CFR being present, properly connected and functioning normally. You do not want to jeopardize this. This is bigger than any of us and we are not here to fuck around. Lauren McStevenson. Alright. Cool. What else? There's one more computer here. They'd stockpiled all the chronon particles from ground zero to keep the lifeboat running. Enough to hopefully last until a proper solution was discovered. Chronon particle stockpile update. Everyone, please be advised that we are now at the point where lifeboat activation may occur. Accordingly, I have ensured that preparations are underway for activation. As a part of that, what chronon particle stores still remain at the ground zero harvesting operation are being moved to the headquarters and no, excuse me. And placed into the Master Chronon Particle Repository, ready to be placed under the CFR's control. Please be aware that what we have managed to accumulate until this point is very likely to be all the Chronon Particles we ever have access to. Due to the fracture's effects on the Meyer, Mayer Joyce field, the Ground Zero anomaly is showing definite signs of weakening. As a result, the Chronon Particle yield decreases drastically and will soon drop to baseline. While we will obviously continue more traditional chronon particle harvesting operations in order to maximize our stockpile, we all need to recognize that sourcing them outside of the ground zero conditions is extremely inefficient, or in plain terms, unless we find another source of chronon particles, and I don't believe we will, what we have now is all we will ever have. Please be aware that all use of chronon technology eats into our limited resources. And while we of course recognize that we need to have our strikers and other soldiers operate in stutters, each operation undertaken will eat away at our stockpile and in very real terms cost us days of lifeboat runtime. Accordingly, we have to plan all use of this technology closely and choose our battles carefully. That said, we should also realize the ongoing situation with Jack Joyce constitutes an emergency and will most likely require unconventional chronon particle investments. Just the same, we should be aware of the cost. I expect to see projected chronon particle consumption rates for the foreseeable future and simulations of how long our stockpile will last. Adjusted for all of the scenarios we have discussed, see our last meeting minutes, 
in our next Monday meeting. Cool. I think that's it. So let's go to the last. Fiona, by the CFR chamber. The door's locked. That's way above my access level. But since my friend disabled security earlier, I should be able to do this. Listen, I don't really know what the plan is, but it's all up to you now. Good luck. Yeah, I don't know what the plan is either. It's like walking into a shrine. This was our holy relic. It sure was. Is that Charlie? Did Burke like cover Charlie up? There'd been some kind of struggle in the chamber. I didn't know the details. Somebody cleaned it up. A man named Charlie Wincott. I believe he chose to take a stand. Unfortunately, it ended badly for him. Mm hmm. Well, it seems to be that kind of work environment. True. Very true. So what else can we read here? Man, this is a long one. Dr. Henry Kim. Personal notes on the CFR. This thing feels like a conundrum wrapped in a puzzle. It's an incredible piece of technology and I feel like we're only scratching the surface or what it, of what it can do. And we have already learned so much. I thought I had a good understanding of the intricacies of chronon particles and their practical applications before. Now I realize that I've still got a great deal to learn. The chronon field regulator, as I've decided to call it, is a little miracle. How, mu how such a small device can do so much is beyond me. I know it taps into the Mayor Joyce field, but I don't know how. My experiments just show it can do it. It can also manipulate the field. I wish I knew how. Still, the mechanics of its operation give me ideas. New avenues of thought I've been trying to find for such a long time. This task that I've been set by Mr. Serene has frankly stumped me for years. Knowing that what we observe as the passage of time is just the result of chronon particles being constantly generated within the mayor choice field is a simple fact that I've been aware for, of for a long time. But being able to manipulate those part particles in a meaningful way, well that's another question. The, the mechanics of the situation are clear, almost frustratingly so. In a zero state environment there are no chronon particles and thus time is frozen. The idea of artificially flooding an area with chronon particles to enable the passage of time is the obvious solution. But actually, finding a way of doing that, that's something else. Hmm. Cool. Uh, not only are chronon particles incredibly difficult to source, so obtaining enough to actually stutter proof an area for any time longer than a fraction of a second has always seemed impossible. Perhaps even more importantly, the mechanism of manipulating the particles in a way that would actually allow me to define a certain volume of space as stutter-proofed has constantly eluded me. Well, Ground Zero has solved the former problem for us. We're almost up and running and very soon we will have the ability to harvest granon particles at useful rates. We'll be able to build a truly formidable stockpile of them in the years to come. As for the letter, letter problem, manipulating the chronon particles, that seems to be something the CFR does with ease. Its ability to tap into the Mayor Joyce field and affect changes in its topology is exactly what I need. Unfortunately, I don't know how it does it, I don't have a clue, and I don't know how to effectively control these effects, but my research into the practical effects of its operation has given me ideas for a different kind of chronon technology that works on a somewhat similar principle. Except instead of tapping into the mayor choice field, it generates a similar localized field of its own, an artificial chronon particle field, and within that field we can manipulate chronon particles at will. This means that we should be able to create stutter proofing technology, allowing us to shield a certain area from the effects of zero state and I believe I will be able to miniaturize miniaturize the technology to allow for personalized devices with the same effect, almost like an environmental suit suit of sorts, with the harness the user would wear to create a chronon field around his body. There are still many challenges here, one of which is that any significant volume of stutter-proofed space will incur an unacceptably high drain on chronon particles, which are decidedly limited resource. Obviously, with the lifeboat protocol requiring a large stutter-proofed area that we can maintain for years, quite possibly decades, this is a critical issue we have to solve, and Mr. Serene has made that quite clear to me. Frankly, even with Mr. Hatch backing me, the thought of disappointing Serene over this makes me quite anxious. 
I understand his concerns and they are of course entirely founded, but the man's intensity is unnerving. In any case, I'm hopeful that I will figure out this problem soon. I'm hoping to be able to use the CFR itself to regulate the flow of chronon particles given its nature. I suspect it might be eminently suitable for such a role in the lifeboat project and cut down our chronon consumption rate by a great margin. My control over the CFR is limited, but this seems to be a very basic functionality for it. So I'm optimistic that I can do it. I'm still looking to it. I'm still looking into it. One thing at a time, we've already made a great progress and I will say that Mr. Serene's been quite complimentary with these successes, so I think he'll give us the time we need. But it's not like he has a lot of choice in the matter. I'll be honest, the CFR is becoming a bit of an obsession for me. I wish I could sit down and have that conversation and just ask those questions. How did they build it? What it's actually for? But I've been denied that opportunity. A part of me wants to open the CFR up and get to the bottom of it, but the potential consequences terrify me. We've already seen what it can do if unleashed. Even worse, there's the possibility that I couldn't put, put it back together, and just the idea of making a mistake like that is a positively bubble liquefying thought. Having to explain that to, that to Mr. Serene? No thank you. So as it is, I have only dared to open up a bit of the casing to get a rough idea of some of the engineering inside. It's amazing work and it has certainly been a lesson in humility for me. I still have a lot to learn, but I am a very fast learner and this has to be the most important work anyone has ever engaged in in the history of humanity. If we succeed in our mission, the world will not soon forget the name of Dr. Henry Kim. Okay, Henry Kim, you're dead. Or maybe you're uh, just running around here in your shifter form. Very cool, very, very cool. Charlie's badge, Charlie Wincott, Data Samurai. What a bitch. <laughs> okay, um, I found all the intel here. Will that give me the last diaries now? Do I have them? I sure do. On Serene learning that he cannot change things and ref refocusing his plan. Serene's thoughts about William's device and killing Beth. Alright. You know what? Let's listen to these before I finish this, this chapter here. September 11th, 2001. It happened for the second time. I watched the planes hit. I watched the towers fall. I did everything I could to prevent it. <laughs> Took every precaution. I warned them time and again. And just like every other thing I've tried to change, I have failed. It can't be done. I'm living in a cycle that cannot be broken. And I know where it leads. I thought I could prevent the end of time. I can't. But I can use this power to survive it. To ensure that when time ends, life doesn't. I'm refocusing Monarch's efforts. We'll develop technology to counter the effects of the fracture. We'll develop weapons to fight back against the enemies that will thrive there. I went back to William's workshop. The time machine is gone. He's working on a new device of some kind. I have no doubt she's involved somehow. So I need to keep my distance. I'll intervene when the time is right. I built an empire. It's time to put it to use. Build an empire just in two years? He can call it an empire right away? Cool. The weird thing to me about that is that when he stepped into the into the time machine in 2016, the monarch already existed. How did he know that he was supposed to create monarch if he didn't know who was the main lead of that company? Because he went to the future, then went back, and monarch was created by him, but he shouldn't have known, known that, that he was supposed to create monarch. But it's the closed loop, so I guess it was kind of a destiny or something. All right, cool. Also, um, I realized what the what the fucked up thing about Paul is. If he just trusted, if he just trusted uh, Will, that the device can 
change the future, not really change the future, but save them from the end of times, then everything would have been, could have been avoided, I guess, if Will was right. But he has no proof Will is right, so it all makes sense what he's doing, I guess. All right, Serene's thoughts about William's device and killing Beth. July 11th, 2010. A week ago, we retrieved a device from William's workshop. Dr. Kim believes it can be repurposed to develop our lifeboat protocol, the key to our survival. I killed her, the first sacrifice in the name of our mission. I could see in her eyes she would never fully accept what must be done. I pray that I never have to look in Jack's eyes and see the same thing. I'll make him understand. I'll make him see. Hmm. Is that it? Come on, one, one did end or what? That's so weird. Did my game lag? Did it freeze up? I don't know. Well, all right. Um. Oh, it did freeze up. Okay, no, everything's fine. That was weird. Okay, well, I think we have everything here. No? I don't know why it says new content, though. Alright, well, let's go and take this finally. And I'm so excited to see. But I, I saw that there is more parts to this. Let me, let me just check it once more. Um... No, 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 no. Diaries upgrades. Jack. Here it is. Act 5, part 1, part 2, part 3. So, this is the end of part 1, and we'll still have two of those to do. And that should be the end. I'm very excited to see what's gonna happen. Alright. Let's take it, Jack. You'll it shut down the lifeboat. It for Will to build the countermeasure. Beth died for it. And I knew it could fix the fracture. This fucking thing. <laughs> Problem was, I didn't have a clue how to use it. The only person who did. Oh, was dead. Return back in time. Monarch had Will. a way of getting to him before that ever happened. The university time machine. We've got the core here. Yeah, go back to Will Monarch and had ask. Built their own time machine above the CFR chamber. That's where I needed to go. You still believed you could go back and save your brother? Yes. Can I? Well, that would be nice. That would be really, really nice. I'm still in part one. I, I guess I'm gonna end this when I reach part two. That's kind of the plan now. Cool. So that's the plan. If I can return to Will and ask him how to use it, and that's it. But I can only return with this time machine to the time of the fracture now. I mean, Will was alive there, so... Might be possible. Maybe I can't save him because it's closed loop and all that, but he could tell me what's... What's gonna... Will took the core of the time oh. machine from the university. Hooked it up to his own machine. It was part of his sick desire for control. But that gave me one last shot at fixing things. I could go back. Maybe get to Will before Paul killed him. And if I could get the countermeasure in Will's hands... Maybe I could still turn everything around. Maybe. Alright, cool. Well, that sounds like a good plan, finally. Finally a good plan. Where the hell am I? The core was set, the machine was prepped. I had to put the core door in place. What are these things? The gun. Looks nice here. Alright, just check in <laughs> if I'm still on the same part. I guess moving through the time machine is the end of this. Okay, this should do it. Deploying the corridor. Phase one underway. Please clear all personnel starting up. Oh, I'm gonna fight? Of course. Alright, I need to take, take care of the snipers first. Think. Oh wait a second. Can I upgrade my thing here? No, I can't. I need two more upgrades. All right. I don't see anybody. Oh, 
I guess that was useless to do. There you are. Alright. Oh, there you are. There's the sniper. Can I hit you from all the way? All the way from here? I doubt it. Could be from the other side. Oh, that's just... Using up my things again. Oh, is he just stressing me out and he's frozen? I guess. In case you move. Oh man, he's gonna die <laughs> when the timer moves anyway. Okay. Are we done? Oh, we're not. Alright, you're done. Is the time gonna move now? Oh shit, he did. Come on, hide down. Damn it. Alright, I need to relocate. This is terrible terrible place to be. Alright, so now they now they are fine. Come on. like I can't kill them unless I hit them in the head. Alright, let me go and get my thing here. This sucks. Come on, die! I'm leaving. Oh, they destroyed my thing. Jesus. You serious? Fine, go. I need to take care of that sniper first. This is terrible. Alright, he's down. There's one more though. Explode. Okay. Oh, what? What you doing? Who's shooting at me? I'm gonna put you out of your misery, man. What is he doing? Alright, well, I guess he's not a... Oh, the grenades are disrupting me. Oh, we don't want that. Alright. There's the big guys. I need to get away from those. Alright. Let's get back my... Alright, are they gonna come closer? I might want to... Blow this up. No? Alright. So it's just those, those two guys now and I should be done, no? I think everybody else is down. I don't know who's... Who's lower on health, honestly? Oh, I missed. Okay, are these glass things? Yeah, I can't hit him from here. Okay, he's down. Alright, he's down. Cool. I mean, these fights are quite intense. But it sounds like somebody's still here. I guess it's this dude, and I can't kill him. Can I? Oh, I can. Hit him in the ass. That's the way to do this. Okay. Just this ass one's in the same dimension as me. For oh, insertion. A very slow machine lady. The machine was ready. I just needed to put in the date. No problem. The earliest I could go back to was the time that the core was first activated. At the university. Not much time to rescue your brother. I didn't have a choice. You better be as advertised. 
Hmm. Alright. So we're going on. It was the last fight of the first part. Act 5, part 2. Awesome. Oh man. This was a fun one. Return to the university. Am I gonna walk through the walk through the thing again? But if the if the time is closed loop, we should have met myself when we were at the university now. I'm interested in what's happening here. I guess... Oh, he came out there after that. <laughs> Very cool. We can't get in, shit. Well, the, the, it, it won't be as easy, of course. No problem, I can take care of them. But, yeah, that's the end of this part, though. I don't know if the game will start me up from here next time, or if I'll get to see the whole uh, cutscene in the start of here. But anyway, uh, great. Very cool. We've got the CFR. We're going to get Will. I'm learning more and more stuff. Martin is probably really dead. He just tried to make the make the things happen, make the end of times happen, but he's gone. All right, very cool. I'm excited to see how this ends. I don't know. I really don't know. I guess we just find Will, we use it, we save everybody and get back to the future. I don't know. Okay. I don't really have anything else to say. I just want to see how this ends. I don't know if this will take one more part, if I can do the second and the third part at once of this Act 5. Who knows? If so, well, one more part is waiting for me. And if not, well, I'll do two or three or five. I have no idea. Okay, so uh, thank you very much for watching and bye.